My name is Jeremiah Xu. I am a payload engineer with MRSAT, which means I keep track of the payload as it's built up in the satellite and it moves to the factory here at Talos. The site is the Cavern du Pont d'Arc. Um, it is a recreation of the Grotte Chauvet. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site where they found some of the earliest uh, cave paintings done by man. It's really fascinating because in there, in the cave, you can kind of see the original medium of communication. It's you take um, a stick and you make markings on the wall. And really, in order for someone else, for you to communicate to someone else with that, they would have to pass through the same cave and out actually see the markings. Today, you don't have to have another band of hunter-gatherers come share the same cave in order to communicate your message. Literally, you can be flying through the air and you can still stay communicated. You can send your messaging to, to anyone in the entire world. You can reach out and touch anyone. Uh, this is amazing. I mean, I can only imagine what it might have been like for the, the people who originally found this cave to come into something like this that was untouched, pristine for uh, tens of thousands of years and to kind of see the markings of, of people just like you and me who, who passed through here. The artists here, you know, the way they made the drawings was state of the art at the time. I mean, the drawings are done by, it looks like charcoal, and um, I mean, it has color, they, they go with black and red, and they actually are able to do the 3D reliefs. And whoever was doing this really knew what they were doing. And to think that what we're doing today with MRSAT and the EAN is just uh, kind of directly evolves from what these uh, cavemen were doing here. It's, um, it's really humbling to, to kind of think that, that we're just part of this line that's just constantly pushing forward uh, human technology just to really connect everyone, just to make the world a better place. EAN, the European Aviation Network, will be the first of its kind in many respects. Uh, the one that I find really interesting, because I've been with this project since before it existed, uh, is that it's the first time that this hybrid application of radio frequencies has actually turned into a hybrid system that uses satellite and ground towers in a, in a concerted way to deliver both coverage and capacity and performance. But more important, perhaps, to the market and to the users that will pick it up is you're going to get an unprecedented uh, quality of service and speed of connection that allows your device to work in the airplane as it did in the airport before you got on the airplane. And that just is not happening anywhere else. It's modern technology uh, applied to this aviation space uh, in a unique way that is going to really have higher performance and better economics than anything of its kind in the world. So look, in-flight Wi-Fi is not as complicated as it might seem. Meet Bob. Bob's flying to Barcelona. He's on a plane and he's on his laptop. He's looking to find a room. So what does he do? He does what we all do. He goes onto Google, types in TripAdvisor, and that goes up to our little satellite, which is sitting up here in the sky. It bounces off the satellite, comes down here to what we call our Earth station or our ground station, and that then sends the signal through to the meet me point, which manages all the traffic. It goes along there to our ISP, and then it goes to the World Wide Web. And TripAdvisor dutifully serves him the page. It then comes back through the ISP, the meet me point, back up to the satellite, and back down onto Bob's laptop. The thing about in-flight Wi-Fi, as opposed to normal Wi-Fi, is you're traveling at about 500 miles an hour. And there have got to be some occasions where it might be quicker to get a signal from the ground. And that's where at EAN we're very, very lucky. Because with our system, as well as having our satellite, we've also got our ground towers, about 300 of them across Europe. And when he types TripAdvisor in, instead of going up to the satellite, it comes down to the ground tower. It goes along to our meet me point in just the same way, through the ISP to the World Wide Web and back again and back up to Bob's laptop. So he gets the hotel room he's looking for. <laughs>